In conclusion, Tyagaraja's original Tirtha Yatra appears to have lasted two years, which we encapsulated for you in a period of about three hours. Tyagaraja began his pilgrimage in April 9, 1839 at the age of 72. He was initially reluctant to undertake the long tour considering his age, but his disciples convinced him to visit Tiruvatriyur, Kovur, Kanchipuram, Valajapet, Sholingur, Sri Rangam, Chennai, Nagapattinam, Sirgari, and Puttur beside Tirupati. It was during this tour that he visited several Shaivite shrines and composed beautiful songs in Telugu and Sanskrit as we just saw today. Tyagaraja made it clear through his songs that he was not swayed by divisions of Vaishnavism and Shaivism. It is obvious that Vaishnavite and Shaivite gods were like his two eyes, especially considering the Tiruvarur and Tirvayaru background, reinforced by his pilgrimage to Chennai and other places in 1839. According to legend, it was during his tour to the Chennai region that he was said to have revived a dead person in Puttur near Chennai, and that Rama and Lakshmana accompanied his palanquin when it was attacked by robbers near Kovur. Saint Tyagaraja attained Samadhi in Tiruvayar. Sri Tyagaraja Aradhana is an annual event held in Tiruvayar every year. Sri Tyagaraja attained Siddhi on a Pushya Bahula Panjami day 6th January 1847 at the age of 79, a day after he was initiated into the order of Advaita Dasanami Sannyasis. His last composition before his Siddhi was Giripai Nelakonna in Raha Sahana Aditala. He was interred on the banks of the Kaveri River at Tiruvayaru the very next day. It has truly been a blessing for all of us to be able to retrace the great saint's journey, thanks to Pranavam. It is very important to recognize that today's performance could not have happened without the blessings and guidance of Santiji's gurus and the guru parampara of the school. So let us all offer our humble obeisance and respects to our guru parampara. Talking about guru parampara, Please put your hands together once again for our exceptional gurus, Srimati Shanti and Srimati Anu. Their passion, commitment, and dedication are instrumental in shaping their students' successes, and they truly lead by example, especially as both continue to learn and practice even now. Put your hands together for our teachers. We'd now like to recognize all the students. We request all of them to please come up on stage. We'll be taking the group photo now, but please do so as orderly as possible. As the kids are getting ready for the group picture, our heartful congratulations to all the students, as well as their parents, families, and friends. We would also like to extend our gratitude to everyone especially those who have been part of this journey from the very beginning, nearly 15 years ago, as well as those who have joined us along the way. A special thank you to those who have traveled long distances to be here today and participated in all the rehearsals leading up to this production. Your support and dedication to the arts have been instrumental in building and sustaining the strength of our school. We also wish to express our sincere appreciation to the wonderful volunteers who contributed their time and effort across various committees, including registration, atrium decor, crowd control, student directions, stage decor, and more. The success of this program would not have been possible without their invaluable assistance, and we thank them wholeheartedly. Lastly, we want to extend our gratitude to our accompanists. Your exceptional skills enhance the music, making it more enjoyable to listen and providing a fantastic learning opportunity for our young students. Our heartful gratitude to Sri Sharavanan and the team from Sharavana Creations who managed the entire technical part today, including sound engineering, photography, and videography. We'd also like to thank Kumari Kirtika Rajan for creating and maintaining our school's website, as well as Blue Ribbon Awards for making all the customized trophies, medals, plaques, etc., for our students and guests today. A huge shout out goes to Kumari Lasya Shekharan and her family. They were instrumental in creating the entire PowerPoint presentations 
that you saw on the back this year. We are also very grateful to the Granville Arts Center and its staff for their support and for giving us such a wonderful venue. This brings us to the end of today's program. We hope all of you enjoyed it. It has been our distinct pleasure to be your MCs this evening. We thank all of you for being here with us and encouraging our students. We'll all see you next year with yet another wonderful performance. Thank you so much.